Oh! Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Star Tropics. I am the Wolf. In our last episode, we took on the first chapter, fighting a giant sea serpent, and in search for our uncle. And now we move on to chapter two. Dolphins. After a few hours voyage, Subsea is still cruising on the ocean. Yeah, so we've been on the ocean for an hours in the sub. When? Well, we're on to a dolphin for some reason. Now come here, Captain. She has a female dolphin. We'll begin translation. Please find my son. He has disappeared. Captain, may I promise her to... I promise her to find her boy dolphin. Of course, as always, you should say yes, because otherwise you'll just get stuck in a loop forever and ever and ever until you finally say yes to move on with the game. So let's come over here to this lighthouse real quickly. Talk to the guy in charge. He says that he hasn't seen the dolphin and that you should go visit his wife. I'm pretty sure that if you don't talk to him first that you'll have to go back and talk to him before you can talk to his wife anyway, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's just so much easier to visit him than uh, the other, because I mean the lighthouse is right here. Now before I go get this bell, I want to show you something. Then real quickly, there um, we are in a sub, and we cannot dive. So far, our only way to get through things are with these wave things here. But as you can see, they only go from side to side; they don't go up and down, which is what those wavy things are for. It's to allow us transport over the thing, but only after we're able to dive. And in order to dive, well, we must go get the code, which is in the bottle. Of course, it, you know, it's, uh, just like Duex Machina or whatnot, you know, um, Serendipity, whatever you want to call it, you know, that the bottle by Dr. J just happens to be where we're going and you know it just so happened to land in that spot that morning so someone was able to find it but you know it's a game I, I don't think we try to think too much about this or stuff normally usually just play a game to relax we like it for other reasons, sometimes story, but it helps us to relax. We like it for gameplay value and whatnot. I love the gameplay of this game. And as you see, we just found a big heart and our life level has increased, which might remind you of another game that I said that I'd be talking about occasionally. But I'm not going to mention that game at the moment. Because now we are in level 2. And level 2 is really what I think of for uh, Star Tropics. Not that this is the most iconic level, it's just, you know, this is what I expected Star Tropics to be when you hear the name like Star Tropics. Not, I don't expect to have to be fighting slugs and rats in a tunnel. I expect to be fighting, you know, fish and things of that nature because we're in like maybe some bats you know because there are tropical bats and whatnot but I just don't think of like going out and finding slugs and rats as the sort of stuff that you'd expect to see in the game. And I was thinking about it the other day and I remember in the first episode I believe I mentioned um, how this game didn't get a lot of attention when it first came out or whatnot. I think the problem is, you know, back in the day, we 
pretty much bought uh, our video games based upon, you know, the cover of the box, the box art and whatnot, because, you know, we figured if we like the box art, then we'd probably like the game or whatnot, and, um, you know, I guess it just goes to show that you really can't tell a book by its cover. I mean, this was just a very, a very basic box art with, like, an, a world on it, and the, the star falling through sort of tropic feel, but, you know, you couldn't tell that it was an adventure action game type thing. You probably would have thought maybe it was like an RPG or something like that at most, you know? I think that's really what it came down to, but, I mean, this is really just a fun game in the end. And, um, as you saw there, there is this dark part. You can see a little bit of the black on the ground. And if you come across those, it allows you to transport from through the wall, basically, because there's like a small opening type in the cave or something. And that's really all that that is, but I've, it, I figured I'd tell you guys in case you ever did play. That way you know and can go looking for it. And I really hate these starfish things. They are one of the more annoying enemies in the entire game to me. Not the most annoying, but pretty high up there for uh, annoyances. And we have the pufferfish. Oh, I, I totally forgot to talk about these guys before. Well, I first came across them. Those are, I believe they're called Octots here. And not Octorocks like in um, Legend of Zelda. There I go breaking my rule, but hey, whatever. Um, and the Octots are just bouncy little Octopods that are really awesome actually, I think, to uh, care uh, enemies to have in this level. Okay, so we apparently in this uh, little room you only have to kill a certain bat for things to pop up. Now you can go north, but that's not the way that we're going to go progress. Um, you come over through the side here and you open this thing and you get this little snowman looking device. And then you go up and we continue up, or then... It's real, and that snowman will come in use for the boss of this level. He really will. And now we come to where we see the little boy dolphin trapped, which on the screen at the moment that thing looks gigantic. I mean, how much of a little boy dolphin is he? Uh, he looks pretty grown up to me. But anyway, we move onward. And now we're at our boss, the giant octopus. And basically you're going to want to be jumping back and forth, or th dodging these little... I guess they're supposed to be like ink balls coming out of his mouth. Until he comes up close, and then you'll want to try and freeze them. And as you can see, the water is starting to go down, starting to come unfrozen. That's the time when you should freeze them again, and you can finish them off with those two really quickly before he even gets a chance to t start shooting again. And now we hear our little victory music. And we see the boy dolphin coming out, and everything is happy, hunky dory, good, yay! Everything's happy again. And now we get our wow you've done it screen. Because seriously, we've done it, folks. And now you're gonna wanna go back to the sub because obviously we need to get further in the game. You know, we we need to move on and find Dr. J. So I guess that's a good thing that we stopped on this island. Not just because we saved the boy dolphin and helped re uh, 
or help get him back to his mother and whatnot. But because now we're able to dive, which will be very important later on in the game. And now we'll follow these dolphins to our freedom. And we will have this great send off. We'll never forget your kindness. Aww. How sweet. Anyway, that's it for chapter 2, so this is a wolf signing off.